a number of organisms use a set of dimorphic sex chromosomes to determine gender. And in the XY sex determination system, the males receive an X and a Y chromosome and thus are heterogametic, that half of the sperm that they produce will bear an X chromosome, half will bear a Y chromosome. The females receive two of the same chromosome, two Xs, therefore they are the homogametic gender. All ova will carry an X chromosome. The gender of the offspring is determined by which of the two types of sperm fertilize the ova. If an X-bearing sperm fertilizes an ovum, then the offspring is XX and female. If a Y-bearing sperm fertilizes an ovum, then the offspring is XY and male. Now it should be noted that while flies and humans and other organisms such as some reptiles possess an XY gender determination system, their X chromosomes and Y chromosomes are not homologous. So the Y chromosome possessed in mammals evolved in ancestral mammals, and so the Y chromosome of flies is not homologous. It should be pointed out that there are often other aspects of gender determination. So for example, in flies, the Y chromosome is requi required for fertility, but it is really the ratio of the sex chromosomes to the autosomes which determines gender. And so the Y does not determine maleness the way that it does in humans.